guys, it's been a while since I have done a little store overview, I guess you could call it. We do have some new items in. We don't have a lot. Right now the manufacturers are, I think, in between making new and fulfilling old orders, I guess you could say. But we do have a few new items in. This is the Tim Holtz large uh, collage strips. Those are big. I mean, this is my hand. You can see I had Presley do an inventory. So that's my hand. You can see how big they are. So if you see little strips of paper on things, you'll know she was doing inventory. We've got lots of my favorite shears, scissors in that I use all the time. And then, and I'm gonna try not to shake too much. You know I can't do a video without shaking some, but I've got it in my little holder here, so hopefully I won't do such a bad job. We did get in more of these stamps because we ran out and a lot of people had asked for them. That is a beautiful stamp set. And let's see, got in more of these. That's a gorgeous stamp set too. I love those keys and that letter right there. That's so pretty. Oh, let's see what else we got. We got more of the vellum packs in. They're gorgeous. Then this paper pad, I don't think I've shown it. I'm not sure. Spring Garden. Let's see if I can flip it around here. Let me just get it down, hold on. Hopefully that didn't make you sick. Excuse my tables, they're well used. We clean them, but they're just well, well used. Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I love that right there. For any of you card makers out there, I know a lot of people say they make cards. They, this would be gorgeous. But I am thinking another journal like I made the other day. <laughs> with the seven signatures in it, because it's just, whoops, because it's just so pretty. I love the close-knit part of the designs in it. That makes it so easy to make some beautiful tags, anything out of. And this is not a terribly heavy weight paper, but it is heavy enough. So let's see, you get See if I can read through my camera. You get 30, I guess. It's 180 GSM. So yeah, they're double-sided as well. So, and it, they are um, acid and lignin-free. So it's great for journaling or great for your scrapbook pages. We've got the six by six in it as well. If you'd rather do six by six. And then we got in quite a few of these. Now I know 4th of July has come and gone, but you may be wanting to do a journal or a mini album or something, to, you know, to put all your pictures in from the 4th of July. And of course it's 4th of July around here all year round celebration. So these are very pretty papers. A lot of them, even though they're red, white, and blue, a lot of them don't have anything specific to 4th of July. They have like the fireworks, but that can be any kind of celebration. So grab those, if you will. Hometown USA is the name of it. I think they're pretty. I love red, white, and blue. It's my country. And then we got in some of these craft papers, the ombre. I love this. I think we had the other one, the darker brown ones, but these are really pretty. Oops, it's hard for me to, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Those will make some beautiful tags and journal cards and whatever. And then this is the little collection, the six by six garden collection. Isn't that pretty? It's got some pretty papers in it. And then this one, Happy Healing. This would be really good for cards. If you make cards for people like for your church or something like that, this has some beautiful papers in it. 
very, very pretty. See if you can get a view of some of them. Like if you're going to the dentist or you've been to the doctor or somebody you know has and you want to make them a card, a get well card or whatever, that's pretty. We also have the six by six in it. Oops, hang on, I gotta fix something. And then this one I've shown you, it is a perfect match, beautiful paper. This one we just got in, it's called Worn Elegance. Look at this paper. I'm gonna see if I can get it. There you go, where you don't have a glare. I mean, <laughs> this is gorgeous. I'm gonna have to get one of these. Yeah, so pretty. And this is an eight by eight, and it's by Creative Expressions. And then this one we got in last week. 49 in market and it's the summer porch. I want you to look at these papers. Yes, it has lighthouses in it. Yes, I have one. <laughs> I mean, it's beach scenes, be very good for your summer travels, a little travel journal or anything like that. Summer vacation. I mean, it's good for anything. And then these, look at that. A ton of ephemera pieces 131 die cut ephemera pieces and it's got all sorts of little labels in there look at that never sure enough I love that <laughs> meet me at the beach joys in the journey love it okay and then to go with the 49 in market summer porch and this is the laser cut elements look at these look at those frames and things i love those little clips right there they look i don't think they're on the back now but they look just like real clips when you put them on the edge of your page very very cute and then this is the other ombre we've had that one in we've got a few more in of that and then that'll be when that's gone, that'll be gone. This is the Vintage Artistry Sunburst Collection, six by eight by 49 in market. And it is very, very pretty. Another summery, and yes, it does have a lighthouse. And yes, I do have one. <laughs> very, very pretty. And let's see, what is this? I think we only have one left of this. This is the Sunburst uh, die cuts and it's 123 we only have one pack of that left and that'll be gone and then the chateau rose i know a lot of you fell in love with this this is by taylor made journals on um, youtube a lot of you know her and watch her videos this is one that she created and we got in more because everybody said you didn't get enough well we got all they would send us and we got all they'd send us this time and then this may be it we may not be able to get any more so grab this one while they last. This is an eight by eight pad and it's very, very pretty, as you can see. Okay, I have just swung over to the other wall and just show you, these are not new products, but they're products that we have in and restocked. My favorite Fabri-Tac glue for gluing down fabric or metal, anything like that. And then all of the Tim Holtz inks and sprays and refills get them here <laughs> we did get in more of the little glue pens the zig glue pens we got in more of those and then of course we've always got our glue sticks my favorite glue stick I know those are upside down but that's just a small little bucket that we pull from we've got more in the warehouse and then you see Presley's little stickers on there. She's such a good inventory person. Then more stamps. I'm gonna be using some of these stamps, I think, today. So if you want some, grab them. This is the uh, signatures from the past two. I love this one, it's one of my favorites. It's got the signatures on it from different people. Love that one. I will be using that one, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we have a whole new 
collection of these Versafine Claire inks coming in, the new release that she just did. We have those coming in. Um, I think they'll be in at the last of this month, I believe. They are already on order, been on order for a while. So we have new colors in those. These are our corner rounders and they are on special this week. They're on sale on special. You don't even need a code, just grab them while they're on sale. Okay, and this of course is some things that we have had in, but we got a few more in. This is one of my favorite stamps right there. And the punches. And I think, oh, we got in more of these big tag punches. I think these are a little bit different than the other one that we had in. I'll have to look at mine and see, but I think we got one that's a little bit different. So, I just wanted to show you that. Let me swing over here to the well, another wall. Now, this is our B&E Designs. This is their wall. As you can see, everything is labeled because Benji is a label freak. <laughs> no, he's not a freak at all. He, he just likes to have thing or, things organized in a label. So, we try to do that for him. And he supplies all of this for us. That is the wood ink pad holder. I use mine constantly. This is the acrylic one, our acrylic ruler. All of this we have designed, mostly me. <laughs> but uh, Benji has, has also helped too. I just tell him what I want and kind of give him a little draw out and he does it. That's the ruler I use all the time. This is our butterfly book weight that I use all of the time. And then these are our lace bobbins that you, you know, wind your lace around. And I've got mine stored in a container similar to this, just sitting up where I can see all of them. And then there's some more odds and ends there. And then this is his ephemera tool. So ephemera holder, like I, I use, I've shown it on my videos lots of times. My glue holder, I keep on my desk all the time and use it. You can store your glue upside down where it's ready to go when you want it. This lace holder we're out of. <laughs> he has to make more of those. And also we're out of our journal tool. He's got more of those. He's making more of those now. But, and then this is the ink tower. It holds all of your ink. I think it holds 24 or 36. Can't remember. But anyway. And then as you can see here, this is a lot of tumblers that I need to get designed. I've got a couple of special orders that I've got to do. Uh, someone wanted to see my printer, and just ignore all of this over here. <laughs> someone wanted to see my printer that I print my sublimation on. This is it. It is the Epson, let's see, uh, ET15000. Love it. Absolutely the most wonderful printer I have ever, ever had. And it is a little pricey, but it has a wonderful guarantee on it, and you can... I mean, look at this. Let me move that. See that ink right there? I have not refilled this ink since I've had it. And I have printed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages on this. Just, um, I mean, it's it lasts forever. And yes, we are going to start doing the little uh, foam clips. I've got those out there, so I'll remember to do them. That is just a pile of things that we've got going on for different people. And let's see. Of course, this is my Smell Good from Melina, Pink Zebra. Love it. That's the Caribbean Escape. She knows I like anything that is ocean beach related, so that smell, so that's what that is. And then this is boxes of tumblers. That box is full. This box is full that we take on our trips when we go and, uh, you know, they, they sing different places. And we have sold a ton of those. So if you want a tumbler, even if you want a tumbler that is specifically made or you want something specific on it, we can do that. We can even put your picture of your child on there if that's what you want. I've got an order, a special order right now for one of our vintage trucks and our vintage truck um, digital. She wants it on a tumbler, and I'm going to be doing that for her today. 
And then somebody asked me also about the uh, Tumblr Press. This is it right here, the PDF Life. That's what I use. I love it, love it, love it. It does a Tumblr in just no time. And then this is my heat press, one of my heat presses. I have another one out in the garage storage, which we use also. It's not stored. We just have to put it out there because we don't have any more room in here. This is the HTV Rot. I love this one. It's an auto press. As you can see, I have plenty of my paper that I, that I like to use for the backing on my tags and things. I keep a well-stocked supply of that. All right, I am going to show you. A lot of people have asked about the RV. Here it sits. Ignore my mop there. Aaron mopped yesterday, and I set it out here to let it dry out. There is the RV. It sits at my house because my house is the only one that has a large enough parking lot. So this is it before you pull all the side things out. That's how you we look going down the road. But I will give you a view of the inside and everything when we open it up. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.